Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about Euler's theorem. But first of all, we will study about Euler's phi function. This Euler's phi function is also called Euler's quotient function. Euler's phi function phi n. This function finds the number of positive integers which are both smaller than n and relatively prime to n. Phi of 1 is always 0. Phi of p where p is a prime is equal to p minus 1. Phi of m into n where m and n are relatively prime is equal to phi of m into phi of n. If p is prime, then phi of p raised to power e is equal to p raised to power e minus p raised to power e minus 1. Now let us see some examples phi of 13. Now see 13 is a prime number. Therefore phi of 13 will be equal to 13 minus 1. That is it will be equal to 12. Right? Because 13 is a prime. Now see phi of 10 we need to find the value of 5 10 so how we will find it phi of 10 it will be equal to 5 2 into 5 5 because 2 and 5 are relatively prime right so phi of 10 is equal to phi of 2 into phi of 5 now phi of 2 will be equal to 2 minus 1 and phi of 5 will be equal to 5 minus 1 right because 2 and 5 are prime numbers so it will be equal to 1 into 4 that is equal to 4 so phi of 10 will be equal to 4 now see the th third example what is the number of elements in z14 star right so z14 star it means uh, it has those as uh, set z14 stars has only those elements or those integers which are less than 14 and they are relatively prime to 14 right uh, z14 star has uh, those uh, integers which are less than 14 and which are having multiplicative inverse right so we can say that the number of elements in z14 star is equal to 5 14 right so 5 14 is equal to 5 2 into 5 7 because 2 and 7 are relatively prime and 2 and 7 are also prime numbers so phi of 2 is equal to 2 minus 1 and phi of 7 is equal to 7 minus 1 so it will be equal to 1 into 6 that is equal to 6 so phi of 14 is equal to 6 so it means in a set z 40 there are 6 elements right or we can say there are 6 integers right in set uh, z 14 which are having multiplicative inverses so in z 14 star there are 6 integers or we can say six elements now Euler's theorem so according to this theorem if a and n are relatively prime then a raised to power phi n is congruent to 1 modulo n now let us see the applications of Euler's theorem so by using this theorem we can find the multiplicative inverses also how we can find it now suppose a and n are relatively prime right then according to Euler's theorem when a and n are relatively prime then a raised to power phi n mod n is equal to 1 mod n this equation is correct right since this equation is correct then this equation will also be correct this equation is a raised to power phi n minus 1 mod n is equal to a inverse mod n right this equation is also correct because if uh, to this equation on both sides we multiply a right a is uh, relatively prime to n if we uh, on the both sides of this equation we multiply a then we will get this equation right and this equation is correct according to Euler's theorem so, ac so according to this equation when a and n are relatively prime then the multiplicative inverse of a in zn is a raised to power phi n minus 1 mod n it will be clear after this example now see 3 and 10 are relatively prime so the multiplicative inverse of 3 in z 10 is 3 raised to power 5 10 minus 1 mod 10 so first of all we will find the value of 5 10 5 10 is equal to 4 right value of 5 10 is 4 so 3 raised to power 5 10 minus 1 mod 10 it will be equal to 3 raised to power 4 minus 1 mod 10 and it will be equal to 27 mod 10 and it is equal to 7 so when 3 and 10 are relatively prime then the multiplicative inverse of 3 in z 10 is 7 now let us see 
that uh, multiplicative inverse of 3 in z10 is 7 so 3 into 7 mod 10 is equal to 21 mod 10 and it is equal to 1 